God bless you. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. It's time for the 5 o'clock prayer. This is a good time where you can prepare yourself and worship in the atmosphere that God can be able to hear your voice. Come on, let's join together as we enter into worship and praise and prayer unto the Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we glorify you, and we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity that we can come to you like to do in the morning, that we can come and usher in a presence, a, a atmosphere to glorify your name. First, we want to say, God, we thank you for forgiving us for all the sin that we have done in thought or deed. We thank you, Lord, that you are our, our God of forgiveness and our Lord, our Savior, and we thank you that you give us that opportunity to come boldly to the throne of grace. We thank you that we come as, as a sacrifice, not just for ourselves, but for the people, for the country, for the city, for our community, God. We give you praise, God, before we know you make all things well. We know that you make a way out of nowhere. We know that you are our King and King and Lord of Lords. So we send forth ministry angels and on our behalf, Lord. Can you send forth ministry angels on our behalf, Lord, to bring forth the blessings of God that brings forth the atmosphere that makes all things well. So we speak life. We speak life to things that are dying. We speak life to, the, to, to our children. We speak life to our health. We speak life to our relationships. We speak life to our job. We speak life to our mind. We speak, speak life to our vision. We speak life to our national ministry. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory for the ability to have life and to have it more abundantly. Lord, we worship you for the abundance of life. We worship you for you have allowed us to walk in a way that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of men the things that God has already prepared for us. We're not waiting for you to bring it to us, for it's already prepared for us. And we give you glory and praise for the opportunity to know that all we have to do is go get it because it's already prepared for us. We love you, Lord, for you have first showed your love to us as you died on the cross, Lord, and then been risen just for us. We give you glory and praise, Lord, that you are the healer of our bodies. You are the healer of our broken hearts. You are the healer of our corrupt mind. You are the healer of the things that are wrong in our lives. And we praise you, Lord, that you are our true healer and our redeemer. Lord, in the name of Jesus, our first offering unto you is ourself. God, we surrender ourselves to you. We surrender ourselves so you can get the glory and you get the praise. As we move through this day, we, we, we want to be the sacrifice of your glory and of your praise. Lord, as you favor us in the marketplace, we want you to get the glory and the praise. As you favor us, as we move through our atmosphere, as we go to school and as we go to work and as we go through this city, we want you to get the glory and the praise. We thank you that you allowed us to be the vessel that you chose for this hour. We thank you that you allowed us to, you look beyond our faults and still chose us. We give you glory and praise. For it had not been for you on our side, we would have sunk and never got up. I praise you, God, for giving me the ability to get back up. I give you glory and praise that you give me the ability not to get up, not also get up, but to have my mind come up with me and my spirit come up with me and my peace come up with me and my joy come up with me, my purpose come up with me. I thank you, God, that nothing's broken and nothing's missing in this walk, that we move forward uh, into the things that you have designed us to be. Uh, we give you glory and praise uh, for you are a true and living God. Uh, we give you glory and praise uh, for without you uh, we are nothing. Uh, without you uh, we fail. Uh, Father God in the name of Jesus uh, we get, you give us the authority uh, for the authority uh, that you possess upon ourselves. Uh, we rebuke uh, the enemy's plan uh, in our lives. Uh, we rebuke uh, the walk of the enemy uh, in, in our view. Uh, we declare that no weapon uh, formed against us uh, will prosper. Uh, we declare that, that everything that rises up uh, must fall. Uh, we, uh, the authority uh, that you possessed in us, uh, we declare uh, mental illness uh, must fall in line uh, 
to the gift of the Holy Spirit. And we give you glory and praise that you are healing the minds of the broken, healing the minds of the confused, healing the minds of the hopeless. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We go against any demonic spirit that you to stand against the will of God in every one of our lives. We go against any demonic spirit that wants to cast down the purpose and the will that God has created for us to live by. In the name of Jesus, we serve notice on addiction. We serve notice on drugs. We serve notice on any foreign object that we have jowled or the enemy have chosen to enter into our body. Loose us, loose our children, loose our family, loose our friends, loose our community, and let it go. In the name of Jesus, we declare that it is free. We are free from the objects that does not give God glory. We are free from the objects that clear that messes up our vision. We are free from the objects that wants to pull our purpose down. Satan, we come to tear your kingdom down from the top to the bottom, from the bottom to the top. Satan, we declare that we are the true children of God, and you must know that you have no right to even consider or even think that you can partnership with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost in me will not partnership with the devil in your life. The Holy Ghost in me will not partnership with the demonic spirits you toss before me. Satan, you need to know you are above, I'm above you and you are beneath me. You are, you are, I shall bruise the head of your assignment. I will bruise the head of your strategies. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we are of God's chosen disciples in this season. In the name of Jesus, we declare that God has full authority uh, over our hearts, uh, over our minds, uh, and over our lives. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we declare uh, that you have chosen us uh, for such a time as this, uh, and we are ready uh, and full equipped. Uh, the devil uh, failed uh, when he planned to kill us. Uh, he failed uh, when he planned to destroy us. Uh, he failed uh, when he planned to conquer us, because uh, greater is he uh, that's in us uh, than he that's in the world. Uh, for that, uh, we give you glory, Lord. For that, we give you praise. For that, we honor you. We lift our hands. Come on, those that are listening to me today, move your position from just being laying down to rising up and say we lift our hands, Lord, in the place that we declare today a sanctuary. Our house is now a sanctuary. Our room is now a sanctuary. Our space is now a sanctuary of your glory and anything uh, that decides uh, to come through uh, this temple, uh, come through uh, this sanctuary, uh, come through uh, this place uh, must be cast down in the name of Jesus, uh, cast down uh, and destroy uh, because God uh, has declared uh, we are his people. Uh, we are the sheep uh, of his pastures. Uh, we shall enter his gates uh, with thanksgiving. Uh, I give you praise, Lord, uh, for the spirit of thanksgiving. Uh, yes, uh, I transfer uh, the spirit uh, of sorrow uh, to the spirit uh, of joy. Uh, I transfer the spirit from the spirit uh, of hatred uh, to the spirit uh, of forgiveness. Uh, I transfer from the spirit of failure to the spirit of that I'm my more than a conqueror. We love you, Lord, for this place that we're now is in its holy ground. The ground, the room, the atmosphere, the furniture, everything is holy ground. And because it's holy, I become holy with it. Because it's holy, I become the vessel that can be used in it. And I give you glory. I give you praise that you love us so much that you have blind your eyes 
to the things that we stumbled uh, and kept your focus uh, on the things we're supposed to be. Uh, and I honor you, Lord, uh, that you uh, are no one, there's no one uh, greater uh, than you. Uh, Lord God Almighty, uh, we now, Lord, uh, present uh, the people uh, that you have assigned uh, to our lives uh, for us uh, to build uh, and to strengthen her. Uh, Give us wisdom uh, to seek uh, and to understand uh, the things uh, that are confusing to us. Uh, give us wisdom uh, to seek uh, and to understand uh, the assignment uh, that we want to walk away from. Uh, yea, uh, though I walk through the valley uh, of the shadow of death. Uh, that's right, Lord. Uh, we know uh, that if we walk with you, uh, we'll fear no evil. Uh, if we do your will, uh, we will fear no evil. Uh, for the weapons uh, of our warfare uh, is not carnal, uh, but mighty uh, for the pulling down uh, of strongholds. Uh, we pull down uh, that uh, that the enemy has uh, on other people's lives. We pull down what the enemy has uh, against our children. Uh, we pull down uh, what the enemy has against our future. We pull down uh, what the enemy has against our ministry. We pull down what the enemy has against our help. Uh, and we declare uh, that Jesus uh, gets the victory uh, over this situation. Uh, Jesus, uh, you'll get the victory uh, and you'll get the praise uh, for what uh, the enemy meant for evil. Uh, God uh, has turned it around for good. Turn it around, Jesus. Turn it around. Turn it around, God. Turn it around. Have your way, Lord. Not my will, but thy will be done. Have your way, God. For I seek you while you can be found. I trust you while you are near. Turn around, Lord, for you are the King of King and the Lord of Lord. And without you, I am nothing else, but with you I can do all things that are possible to me me that I believe so Lord I believe Lord I receive and Lord walk with me talk with me be with me show me and I will honor you and give you a praise give you the praise I want to be a living sacrifice for your glory a living sacrifice for your praise come on y'all won't you join me in lifting your voice and say glory to God in the highest Come on, uh, say it again. Uh, glory uh, to God uh, in the highest. Uh, we are not. Uh, we are not individuals. Uh, we are a co corporate body uh, standing together for a God uh, that is more than enough. Uh, so we stand here uh, as a team uh, and repeat again. Uh, Glory uh, to God uh, in the highest. Uh, come on, uh, I feel his presence. Uh, I feel his glory. Uh, somebody uh, woke up this morning uh, with worrying on their spirit, uh, but I hear the Lord say, peace, uh, be still uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I praise you, God, uh, for peace, uh, being still. Uh, I praise you, God, uh, for confusion, uh, being still. Uh, I praise you, God, uh, for trouble, uh, being still. I stand and say, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Do you feel the relief? If you feel the relief in this prayer, come on and say thank you, Jesus. If you feel the relief in this prayer, come on and say glory, God. I see, I see his goodness. I see his mercy. I'm stronger now than I was 10 minutes ago. I'm stronger now than what I was last night. Thank you, God. I give you glory. I give you praise. When the enemy comes in me like a flood, the Lord will lift up a standard. Oh, God, I give you glory for being my standard. I give you glory for being my shield. I give you glory for being my protection. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We magnify you. If you don't mind, if you're listening to me, begin to lose your heavenly 
any language. Let the tongues roll. Glory to his name. Come on and join me. Jesus, we love you. Fire in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. We speak to those that are transitioning in the workplace. We speak to those that seem like they're failing in their income. We speak to those that seem like they can't make it through. And my word to you, in the name of Jesus, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall. Thank you, God, for the shell in your life. Thank you, God, that you there. Thank you, God, that you're right with us. You shall direct our path. Oh, God, I give you praise for directing me. I don't know sometime where I'm going, but if I keep my eyes on the prize, you will never leave me or forsake me. Do you see in my power? In the name of Jesus, can you sense this power? In the name of Jesus, come on, church, praise him, praise him, and pray, pray, and praise him, praise him, and pray. Shake that tithe and song, shake that mellow, little mellow. Be radical before the presence of the Lord. Be radical before the presence of the Lord. And I glorify you, Lord, for your presence means more to me than the air that I breathe. If I lose every sense of air around me, I know that you're the God that can do all things. You will grow the breath of life back into me so I can live and breathe again. Thank you, God, for you are my healer. Thank you, God. You cast down cancer. You cast down blood disease. You cast down asthma. You cast down neural disease. Thank you, God. Your name is the name above all names. Your name is the greatest of all names. And for that, I praise you. For that, I glorify you. I'm so glad you saved me just in time. I praise you for salvation, for it was free. And I didn't know it. Salvation was free for me, but a price for you. And I praise you for paying the price for me to have salvation. Free was the salvation for me, but the price was his life for me. And I give him glory for he sacrificed himself for me to live, for you to live. Lift your hands and praise him and thank him for allowing you to have the price of freedom that cost Everything is priceless, but you paid nothing. It cost everything, and it was priceless, but you paid nothing. Take the time to thank him for the price you could not afford, the price that you would not pay, but yes, you got free. I praise you, and I glorify you. Come on and worship him. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Glory to your name, God. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. We speak to finances. God, we lay our wallet at your throne. Lord, we lay our wisdom at your throne. We lay the ability to make wealth at your throne, and we allow you to do with our money and our wisdom and our wealth, we allow you to do it like you did the fish and the loaves that you blessed it. Bless my wallet, Lord. Bless my bank account. Bless 
life, my change. Breathe on it. Speak to it. Declare it life. Declare it to be what I couldn't make it be myself. Declare it to be what I couldn't change myself. And as you spoke to the fish and the loaves, and then they distributed. To God, I give you glory that every time I begin to distribute my finances, I find more coming. Every time I begin to distribute my finances, I see more coming. For that, I give you glory. For that, I give you praise. Breathe, blow, and then distribute. And as he distributed, it said at the end of everybody being taken care of, God, I praise you that I'm walking in a season that everybody will be taken care of. I praise you that every that I'm walking in a season that whoever need or whatever that I owe, I will pay. I praise you, Lord, that as everybody was taken care of, there were 12 baskets, 12 baskets. 12 bank accounts, 12 thousands of dollars, 12 million dollars sitting on the side just for me. Lord, I praise you that you have enough for what I owe and still have enough for me. I praise you that you pay everything I owe and still have enough for me. For that, I love you. For that, I honor you. For that, I give you glory. I feel the fire of the Holy Ghost. I feel his presence moving inside me. I see the promise of the Lord being fulfilled in my life. God, I praise you for I'm no longer a walking curse, but I'm now a walking victory. Oh, who can call on that great name? I got the right to call your name, Jesus, Jesus, precious, Jesus. We got it. We got the victory. We got the victory. Thank you, Jesus. As we move through the journey of worship, as we move through the journey of praise, as we move through the journey of prayer, Lord, touch my family members, our family members, our local family, and our spiritual family and our distant family all at the same time created me a clean heart renew the right spirit so when you allow them to change I as a normal man can see the change in them so give me your eyes give me your patience give me your way for as I was pointed I know for myself if you can save me you shown up can save them. I want to pause for just a minute and just say, put your worship together and lift up your hands and say, thank you, God, for saving us. Thank you, God, for delivering us. Thank you, God, for touching us. He's sweet. He is sweet, I know. And I praise him for who he is and what he's done. Oh, God, hallelujah. As you build us uh, in loving one another, as you forgive us, uh, forgiving one another, I want you, Lord, uh, to make me uh, a living example that I can be forgiven uh, and I can forgive. Oh, God, if you need somebody, choose us uh, to be the church uh, that can be the living example uh, that we can be forgiven uh, and we can forgive uh, in the name of Jesus uh, to be like you. It's perfect to be like you. It's excellent to be like you. It's what we desire in the name of Jesus. We speak against the enemy's strategy of our families and our friends and our church family and our community life. We speak against one can put a thousand to flight. But God, there's enough of us in here that if we holler right now, we can put tens and twenty to billions of thousands of demonic spirits to flight away from of our family, away from our friends, away from our community, away from our church, and most of all, 
away from each other. In Jesus' name, we give you glory. In Jesus' name, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we got to thank you. In everything, give thanks. 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 Won't you thank him? Won't you take this moment and thank him? Thank him for all that he's done this far. And you just woke up. That's right. Don't wait till 12 this afternoon to open your mouth to say, God, I thank you. But take the time now to thank him for allowing you to match his desire for your life this morning, to match getting up and diving this number just in time to see the work of God in your life. I feel the urge to tell you that if God has declared the enemy has already lost, if God has declared it, the enemy is already defeated, if God has declared it, then the enemy has lost his mind to consider you, you, you the Joseph for this season, you're the Job for this season, you're the Paul and Silas for this season, you're the Moses for this season, his hand is upon your life, his hand is upon your life, that's why the enemy wants to play with your head. And you got to tell the enemy, today, I belong to God from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. And everything in the middle belongs to the Lord God Almighty. You keep me. You keep me when I can't even keep myself. And for that, I praise you, for I call on your name to be the light in a dying world. I call on your name that I be the reflection of the words that I say. Teach me, Lord, how to speak the right words. Teach me, Lord, how to think the right things. That I be the reflection of the words that I say. That I be the reflection of the things I do. Uh, that I'll be the reflection of the things I think. Uh, come on, God. Uh, have your way uh, in this place uh, for victorious uh, ministry. Uh, and the body of Christ uh, worldwide uh, is ready uh, to hear uh, your next assignment uh, concerning us. Uh, you have saved all of us uh, from an incredible place. Uh, you have delivered us, all of us, uh, from a horrible place. Uh, There's so much uh, you have done to us uh, and for us uh, that we can't tell it all. And some of the stuff, uh, we have to keep it to ourselves, uh, for it's nothing to be able to share because God has snatched us and told us, uh, don't look that way, don't talk about it, and don't think about it. And for that, God, I praise you that my mess has no longer been a shame, that my junk is no longer a shame, for you covered me. You are covering God. That's why I need to stay closer to the cross of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God, teach me how to understand your word. Teach me how to study your word. Teach me how to live your word. Teach me how to present your word. God, it doesn't matter what level of life I'm in. You are the God that is the God of all things. I'm speaking to a possible God, a supernatural God. We are sending forth the power of prayer to bring heaven down to earth, God, we give you full authority to take over heaven. Bring come on from heaven and take over earth. We give you full authority to move from heaven and take over earth in the name of Jesus. We give you back that you gave us. We give you back what you showed us. Ah, God, I praise you, and I give you glory, and I give you honor for you, are truly the King of King and the Lord of Lord. Hallelujah. This for a few minutes, worship him. It don't matter who hears you, long as God hears you. Just for a few minutes, 
thank him. It doesn't matter who's around you, as long as God is around you. And I'm telling you, you declared earlier that your room, your space is holy ground. Speak to him. Speak to him in his prayer. Bring your own prayer. Usher your own moment. Declare it and decree it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we speak to loneliness. We speak to void. And we declare that it shall not be called something negative. But we declare today that loneliness and void is just a sign that we're ready for more of God and more of his word and more of his understanding that we have mastered what we already know to embrace what we don't know. I'm going to say it again. We mastered what we already know so we can embrace what we don't know. Teach us God. Teach us your way. Teach us your thoughts. Teach us your how to do it. Teach us how to walk right. Teach us how to live. Loneliness is not the work of the enemy, but the strategy of God for us to get more, more of him, more of his direction, more of his purpose. We are created in this season. We were born for this season. We were moved by this season. So we speak to every demonic force that's in the city of Baltimore and any area that you're in. We speak, be still, and know that God is God. Loose him. Loose the bondage of murder. Loose the bondage of pregnancy. Loose the bondage of prison. Loose the bondage of our young people stealing cars and not paying a penalty. For the name of God is a strong tower. The righteous come in and they shall be saved. I call you to run in, run in and get saved. Run in and get delivered. Run in and see his power. Run in and see his move. Oh, we praise you. Oh, we praise you. We praise you. We praise you, God. We praise you. We praise your name. We praise your name. We praise your name. We praise your name. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns on heaven and earth with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. We speak to the bondage of the unity of the family. We speak that hardness, that hard spirit that's entered in to your loved ones or even into you, that you begin to break up the ground that holds the anger, break up the ground that holds the envy and the hatred and say, God, I ask you to give me the wisdom and the walk and the thing you have called me to be concerning this family. I can be Moses, but I can be Joshua. But whatever you want me to be, God, whatever you called me to do, don't do it without me. In the name of Jesus, I want to be used. I want to you to be glorified. I want you to be awesome in my sight and in my life. So, God, whatever you do in this season, don't let me miss the call of God on my life in this season. Don't let us miss the call that you have called us to be in this season. For we know many were chosen, many were called, but few were chosen. Lord, choose us. Choose us. Choose us in spite of us. Choose us. Regardless of where we've been, choose us. Regardless of what we've done, choose us. And we will give you the glory. We will give you the praise. We will give you the honor as we move forward into a new hour. Let us not move forward without you, without your presence, without your approval. Without your joy, we do not want to go through the day trying to figure it out in our own flesh. 
but we want to walk in the will of God. We walk in the will of God concerning us and you. In Jesus' precious name, we love you. We adore you. We recognize that you are our Father, and we hallow your name. We make your name greater than our name. We make your name greater than our joy. We make your name greater than our want. We make your name greater than our life. Your name is above all names, all circumstances, all things. We want your name to be glorified in this place, in this temple, in this house. Father God, we trust you, we honor you, and we need you. Lord, please, as we stand here in worship, praise, and prayer, don't let our lives be a life of disappointment to you. Let us show us how we can get what's wrong right. For we realize we made enough mistakes without you with us. Now we're going to trust you for the next level and the next place in our lives. We praise you. We honor you. We glorify you in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we now usher in the next dimension of our church. We usher in this obedience to our prayer life. We usher in the women's conference. We usher in Sunday morning's word. We usher in prosperity and faith right now in the name of Jesus. We lay it at your feet before we put it in our pocket. We lay it at your feet for you to approve it, for you to bless it, for you to sanctify it. And we thank you, Lord, that what we're doing, you are pleased. We thank you, Lord, for where we go, you are honored. We thank you, Lord, for what we're about to do, you're with us. And we praise your name. But what you're playing and what you're doing is marvelous in our sight. We pray to every single person. We give you glory for every single person that you have gave them the ability to walk in a place that you can hear them clearly and they have the opportunity to speak to you and be represented for themselves. We thank you for every marriage that learn the power of unity, to learn the power of oneness, that they walk together in agreement, that they become one without trouble and argument. We praise you, Lord, for the children in our ministry that have a dance when they don't have an understanding, that they begin to imitate the good in us and not the bad. We thank you, God, that they hunger to lay hands on the sick. We thank you, God, that they desire to dance and worship before you. That comes from life example. We thank you, God, that we didn't fail this generation. They see enough of glory in us that they begin to imitate our walk. We praise you that they begin to respond to where we are in you and want to be just like that. We glorify you, God, that these children that the Lord has given us, given us, is for miracles, signs, and wonders. I give you praise, God, that they used to sleep in church, and now they lead the church. We honor you, Lord, that they have become a vessel of your honor. And God, we praise you because we know they're not perfect. But we also know uh, you used us and we weren't perfect. But yet you found it fit to put your hand on upon our lives. Teach us, Lord, how to know one another as you know us. Let us know you the same way as you speak to us. 
Let us begin to speak love and unity to the family of Victoria's ministry. Let's drive out the curse that's on the doorposts of our hearts. Let's destroy the curse that wants to move through the bloodline of our family. We cast it down in the name of Jesus, and we prepare to see a miraculous, miracle, healing now. In the name of Jesus, we're looking for something, a sign that show up that what was cursed is now blessed. What was lost is now found. What was impossible has become all ways and all things are possible. We praise you and we give you glory for what you have done is marvelous in our sight. We honor you for the marvelous that you've done in our sight. We praise you for the marvelous that you've done before us. We give you glory and we give you honor. In Jesus' name, we glorify you. In Jesus' name, we praise you. Thank you, God. Lord, now we put our bodies at the altar. Some of us, during the process of life, have been challenged with sicknesses and diseases and, and demonic spirits that portray as sick, sickness. Yes, Lord, we identify that some of these sicknesses are being controlled by our demonic force. So, God, we lay our bodies at your altar and allow the Holy Spirit to burn out that that is hindering the work and the miracle power of God in our lives. Give him praise. Come on and worship him. We lay our altar, we lay our body at the altar just to be burned. But we know that this is not a burn or a fire that a man makes. For this fire that you put inside of us today cannot be burned out. This fire will not destroy the vessel that holds it. This fire becomes a support to the vessel to do the will of God. So we ask in the precious name of Jesus as we quote your word, by his stripes we are healed. By his stripes we are healed. So God, through your word, you declare we have the act, we have the ability to be healed, so we request from your word to heal us. From the top of our head to the sole of our feet. Heal this body, heal this mind, heal this situation, kill this spirit, kill this demon, kill this blood curse in our lives that makes us think that it's something when it's something else and begin to bring us into a purified body for the kingdom of God for the such a time as this. Thank you, God. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your worship. Thank you for your prayer, for giving me the ability to have the, work, to have the strength to speak your name one more time. We worship you. We worship you. As the songwriter says, welcome into this place. Welcome into this place. I'm asking you, God, come deeper inside me. Move deeper inside me. Bring heaven down to earth just for me. Welcome into this broken vessel. Lord, I'm broken so you can enter in. I'm broken so you can take authority. I've done enough for myself. Now it's time for me to do what you say to be complete in you. Welcome into this broken vessel. We desire to abide in the presence of your people. God, we are your people. Hang around. Hang around all day, Holy Ghost. 
Let me speak in tongues all day, God. Let me see the wisdom and the power of God all day, God. Let me see the prosperity of your hand on my life all day, God. Let me see more than enough of the spirit of abundance all day long. For God, you are the God that healeth thee. You are the God that set me free. So I give you glory and I give you praise. Oh, praise her. Oh, Kalabashaka. E Kelelebo Shepera. Oh, bless your name, God. 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 Bless your name. Bless your name. Bless your name. Your name is greater than any name I know, God. It was your name that got me out of trouble. It was it was your na- name that saved my mind. It was your name that healed me when everything around me fell apart. God, you was my. It was your name that kept me when death was all around me. It was your name that gave me strength. It was your name that allowed me to move on when I wanted to give up. It was your name that connected me to the right thing when I wanted to go the wrong way. Your name, God. Bless be your name. Holy is your name. You are our Shaddai. You are the true and living king. You are the one that I need today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Your name is precious to me. For I honor you and praise you. I give you glory and honor. Thank you, Lord, for the activities of the limbs that wants to give up. Thank you, Lord, for the breath that it seems like sometimes it don't want to fall out. But I give you glory when you allow me to move my hands and move my feet. I give you glory that you allow me to breathe in and to breathe out. Only you can do it. Only you can do it. So God, at the last close of this shifting, I leave my altar. I leave my offering at the altar. My offering of praise. Praise your name, God. Praise your name. My offering of worship. For you are all that I need. Your sweet, your king, your Lord. And above you, there is no other. I leave my offering of desire to serve you at the altar. For you can bring it back to me, press down, shaking together, and running over, for God, I love you, for you have been more than enough to me, you've been better than me, than I've been to myself, Father God, touch every single finger that's in our ministry, speak to them, let them know that their minds will belong to you, that their heart belong to you, and you take care of your own, Lord, give victory, the strength, uh, and the discernment uh, to love on our fingers. Uh, give us the understanding and the wisdom uh, to bring life to them. Uh, but they stood in the gap uh, for so many of us before uh, before we showed up. Uh, even if they didn't know our name, their life uh, stood in the gap. Uh, we give you praise for every singer that walked into victorious ministry. Uh, and we will not forget them. Uh, they will not be forgotten. Uh, and God, if we did forget them, repent. We earnestly repent and say, forgive us. But they are just your vessels like we are your vessels. And the vessel of honor needs to be taken care of. A vessel of honor needs to be cared for. So God, teach us how to care for these vessels of honor. Teach us how to be walking and be used and be need be need by the these vessels of honor. For only you are the God that can change everything. God speak to their minds. Don't let them lose their minds. Ah, oh, God, speak to their body. Give them the strength to endure the thing that you call them to walk through and to walk out of. Don't let them give up 
on you or their self. Even if they hold on to you, God, don't let them give up on their self. Let's let their life be the best life they ever lived. Give us the, give us the keys. Give us the nourishment. Give us the tools to do the work, and we'll give you the labor. If you give us the keys, you give us the tools to do the work, we'll present the labor in the name of Jesus. Just like this morning, we made a sacrifice to present the labor. We can do it again. Thank you for the prophet stopping by and ordaining and declaring that we need to seek God in prayer like never before. Turn us over, God, to a joyful place. Turn us over, God, to your will. Turn us over, God, to the purpose and that you designed us to be for such a time as this. We love you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you everything that you need to do what you need to do for us. We give you everything that you need for you to do what you do for us. We praise your name. We glorify you. We thank you for what you're doing and what you're going to do. God, take this ministry to where you want it to be. Take it to where you desire it to be. We don't need fame, and we don't need fashion. We just need you. If that's what you want us to be, we'll be what you want us to be. If that's what you want us to go, we'll go where you want us to go. We will not be ashamed of who you are and the gospel that you put inside of us. We will not be ashamed of your word. The whole world is trying to transform your word. But give us the raw truth of the gospel that we will not be ashamed in the days to come, that we'll not walk in shame or be a shame object for you in the days to come. Please, God, build a fence around us. Thank you for the fence that is already in the atmosphere. Thank you for the fence that's circling our families. Thank you for the fence that protects our children in school. Thank you for the fence that breaks our husbands or wives down to submission to serve you. We glorify you. The devil huh, thought he could tell families, huh, but we got to give God praise. Huh. There's got to be somebody huh, in the room huh, that can give him praise huh, that you got away from the grip of the devil huh, that wanted to destroy you and your child huh, or you and your spouse. Huh. You got to give God praise huh, that your family huh, is still connected regardless of the bumps, huh, regardless of the hit pits huh, that you give still connected. Uh, and if there's anyone uh, that says I'm in a forgiving, uh, but I gave up, uh, Lord, I believe, uh, but help my unbelief. Uh, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, give them the faith uh, and the vision to see what they don't believe. Uh, give them the power and the revelation uh, that you are in this uh, Regardless of how bad it looks, strengthen them, Lord. Let us not live a life that we don't trust you, but we trust you with all our hearts and all our minds, and we will not lean into our own understanding. No, God, we did it for years. We went through COVID with our own understanding. We went through 2001 with our own understanding. But the close of 2023, let us lead and to your understanding. What do you have for us? What time you want us to be there? What you want us to do? And how fast you want us to do it? Lord, not my will, but your will be done. Your will be done. That's what it's all about, doing your will. That's what it's all about, having the will of God be moved in our life. Come on, Holy Ghost. Move like you never moved before. Huh? Come on, Holy Ghost. Huh? Have your way huh? like you never did before. Huh? This is a new season. Huh? This is a new day. Huh? A fresh anointing huh? coming our way. Oh, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Huh? I feel the power huh? of the Holy Ghost. Huh? I feel his presence huh? moving inside me. Huh? I feel his presence huh? walking with me. Huh? Oh, huh? the songwriter said huh? in this song, huh? he walks with me. Huh? 
and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. I'm his own. And the joy he share as we tarry there, no ever has ever known. I never knew a love like this. I never knew a, a, a joy like this. I never knew a person that is patient like this. God, you are incredible. God, you are wonderful. How you work with me, how you discipline me, and then still love me, how you correct me, but still lift me up. I've never seen a love like this that gives me what I don't deserve and then bless me to be ready to deserve it. Oh, God, I praise you for making ways out of way, no way. I praise you for allowing me to be forgiven when others choose not to forgive me. I'm proud to be a Christian. I'm proud to know you as my father. I'm proud to know you as Lord. I'm proud to know you as a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. I'm so honored to be a part of who you are, God, and nothing in this world can separate the love of God that dwells inside of me. As I leave this prayer line, let me know for sure, God, that the people of God received this prayer with joy and happiness. As I leave this prayer line, let us know, God, that you are pleased with this hour and these moments that are left just for you. We broke the record. The devil had us in a system, but we broke the system and added more to your praise. Added more to your glory. Thank you, God, that we are a part of you. Thank you, God, that you're turning life around just for us. God, we making you smile. I hope we're making you smile. I feel heaven setting down on earth. In my life, I feel heaven setting down on earth. In my environment, I feel heaven sitting down on earth in my peace and my joy. God, whatever I lost in the month before, let me gain it back in the months ahead. Whatever that I did wrong in the months before, let me correct it in the months ahead. Forgetting those things that are behind me and reaching. Lord, I got to reach. I got to reach. I got to catch up on time. I got to reach. I got to push like I never be pushed before. Reach for the things that are ahead. Praise your name, Jesus. Glorify your name. Glory to your name. We honor you. We praise you. And nothing, nothing, and no one can stop us from giving you all the glory and all the praise. Yes, I found a Savior, and he is sweet, I know. You don't have to prove it. You don't have to doubt me. I know for myself he is sweeter than the honeycomb. I'm praising him that he's got the book of life and our names are written in the book of life. I declare and decree that we will all make it to the promised land. We will all walk in the spirit of joy. We will all move to the next dimension. We will all Kill the devil in his trap. We will all become one. We will all have a spirit of forgiveness. We will all give people another chance. We will all see the vision and the purpose of God for our lives and for your life. In Jesus' precious name, hallelujah. Give you glory. Give you praise. Give you glory. We give you praise in the precious name of Jesus. Listen, everyone, at the sound of my voice, for one second, not a minute, because we don't even have a whole minute. We got us less than 59 seconds. But for one second, can you give God 
a praise just where you are right now. Hallelujah. Right now, give him a praise. Right now, strengthen your body, strengthen your mind, strengthen your circumstance. Right now, pray that you join us tomorrow morning. Same time, same station, and then Saturday, meet us in the sanctuary for the teaching and the revelation of God's word and prayer. That's right. We're going to master prayer. We're going to know why we do it and why it's necessary to do it. And then we're going to activate what we learned so the enemy can be defeated in every dimension of our lives. Can you give him praise? Give him glory? For he is worthy. God bless you. God bless you.